Okay, AI generative credits in Adobe. What are these? How are they used, etc. All these questions I will answer and we'll read Adobe documents together and answer these questions. So I'm pretty sure we're all aware of the new AI features in Adobe. I for one am really happy that Adobe is with the times and is developing AI as we speak in real time with this AI revolution. And it's all great and I've used a lot of the AI stuff. And so far it's all been included in all my Adobe apps, you know, like Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, Premiere Pro and whatnot. Now the thing is, having a lot of AI requires a lot of data centers and a lot of storage data and money and whatnot. And so Adobe's solution for this is generative credits. So generative credits are like tokens. So generative credits are used to generate high quality image, vector, video and audio outputs. They can be used in most creative cloud products in your plan, such as Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro and Adobe Firefly. So every month you will receive a certain amount of credits depending on your plan. Most standard generative features like generative fill in Photoshop use one credit per generation. Meaning if you use Adobe Photoshop and you're using generative fill, this will use one credit, one point. If you have a Creative Cloud Pro or Fire Plan, Firefly plan, which are the newest Adobe Creative Cloud plans, then you will have unlimited access to standard generations. Premium generative features like video are more computationally, computationally intensive, intensive for the computer and for operations and execution, let's say, and require more credits. The more credits used will depend on the length of the output. For example, generating five seconds of video will use fewer credits than translating 10 minutes of video. So with Adobe Premiere Pro, you can automatically create captions using AI, and you can also automatically translate these captions from one language to another, which is incredible, using AI. And you can also video extend. So if you generate five seconds of a video, obviously that will require fewer credits than a 10 minute video. Now, if you run out of credits, you can either wait until your generative credit balance resets for the next month or purchase more through the Firefly plans. So every month you receive a certain amount of credits and either you wait until the next month to get all your credits because every month all the generative credits restart and you have the full balance again. Or you can also purchase additional credits through the Firefly plans. So you can also purchase more generative AI credits. So that is interesting. I personally have the Creative Cloud All Apps 100 gigabytes plan for now. This is up for change. Everything is up for change in this day and age, to be honest. So let's go ahead and look at all the types of subscriptions and plans to see the allocation of credits. So if you have the Creative Cloud Pro, formerly Creative Cloud All Apps, which I believe is what I currently have, then you will get 4,000 generative credits every single month for premium generations and then unlimited access to standard generations. So I currently have 4,000 and yesterday I used AI a little bit and I believe I now have 3,900, but we'll check this in a little bit. So that means that every month it rolls over and I have 4,000 again until I use it all up and I have to wait for the next month or I can buy additional credits. Now, if you have Creative Cloud Standard, then you get only 25 credits. If you have a single app, so instead of the whole Creative Cloud, all the apps, and you have just a single one, let's say Adobe Photoshop, then you get 500 credits 
before the 17th of June. So that is now gone. So now you will only get 25 credits. Adobe Express premium plan, you will get 250 credits. For the Creative Cloud Photography, you will also get 25 credits. So the point is, I'm very happy with my Creative Cloud Pro or formerly Creative Cloud All Apps and I get 4,000 credits or generations every single month. And if I need more, I will see if it will be worth it to purchase more credits. Right, let's look at some frequently asked questions. So what are generative credits? Generative credits are like tokens you can use to generate high quality image, vector, video and audio outputs. They can be used with Creative Cloud, Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. What is the purpose of generative credits? So generative credits provide a way to reflect the additional cost and value of our generative features. So that's what I was explaining how Having all these features sadly adds a cost to Adobe. And so to be able to keep using them and use all these features, um, the cost for that has been augmented. How do I get generative credits? Creative Cloud plans include a monthly allocation of generative credits, which you can use to create generative AI content in various Creative Cloud apps. Are there different types of generative credits? No. There's only one type of credit. How are generative credits consumed? So each time you use AI, like for instance, text to image, it will consume generative credits. And all these other questions I seem to already have answered. Hmm, go me. All right, standard features and premium features. So standard features are generative fill in Photoshop, and that uses one credit per generation. Premium features, like the ones that can create videos, need more power to run, and so they require more credits per use. Now let's look at my own credits in Adobe Photoshop. The way to do this is to go to your little profile picture in Adobe Photoshop or any Creative Cloud app. And I will see that I have 3,900 out of 4,000 credits, because apparently I used a premium feature. One final thing I will say is that Adobe added this generative AI in your plan, and it explains where you can see how many feet, where your features are over there. And Adobe AI's approach, Adobe has not and does not use your images or data to train our AI models. We are committed to safeguarding your creative work. Phew, that was a relief. So I hope this made sense to you and that you have a bit more clarity about credits, generative credits. I'm sure this will be developed more and more explanations will be provided as time goes on. Mm -hmm.